Good morning, modern steaders. Boy, that sun is nice and bright. This morning we get to work on our new pig pen and pasture area. I'm excited I get to try out my new T-Post driver. I've never had one of those before. So that's exciting times. But first, before we forget, I know spring is here and summer because we gotta get the winter tires off of Gina's car today. So I gotta get out her summer tires. Yeah, that's right, summer tires. We live in a northern climate, so we have winter tires and summer tires. This is kind of funny, I know. Now is it bad that I'm excited to use the new T-Post driver? Let's see if we can find a spot without a rock or a root. I haven't heard from the pig farmer yet, but he told me it'd either be this coming weekend or the beginning of next week, so. Hopefully we'll be getting the piglet this weekend. Definitely makes it a lot easier job. The real fun part. We need to dig a whole couple of holes for our fence posts. Hopefully, we don't hit too many rocks. Here's the shovel. And it always seems like I pick the spot to dig where the most rocks are. Yeah. Yep, about 15 inches down, I hit a big old rock and things a boulder it ain't coming out so 
Hopefully, this will be deep enough we can get it to work. We have some really nice decomposted hay bales that we did gardening in last fall. It's where we planted our broccoli and our Brussels sprouts that the deer enjoyed so much. Well, I want to get them out of the pig pen and get them in a compost pile so we can utilize them in our garden. These are about half composted already. Hopefully we don't hit any rocks in this one. Now after digging these holes again, it makes me appreciate the pork I have in my freezer a little bit more. Now I decided to embrace the crookedness. I put it straight across, going this way. You would hit your head on it when you're going into the pig pen. So. It'll be interesting to see what you all think about it and what Gina thinks about that. I don't want to cut this 4x4 because I'll be using it in a different location and I might be able to go deeper next time. So. And it just sturdies the gate opening. I'm happy with that. I started cutting material last night for a new project. That's gonna be a fun one. I think you'll like it.
You know the old saying, do something that scares you every day? Got a confession to make. I don't like going out in public vlogging. So I've been pushing myself to take the camera out more lately. What have you guys been thinking about that? Love to get your feedback. Trying to stretch myself here. You want to show us the paintings you made the other night? Sure. So, this one's mine. So this is mom and then this is me. Ooh. And then this one's mom. And that's her and that's me. Good job. Thank you. Both you girls did awesome. UPS just showed up. Got a new book. One of the modern studies recommended this in the comments below. This is where we're going to end today's video. Olivia has a music concert tonight that we're going to go to. She's playing the flute and she's singing in the chorus. Woohoo! It's going to be on channel 2. It's going to be on channel 2? Mm -hmm. Awesome. So we'll see you right back here tomorrow at Lumna Acres, a guide. And we'll see you right back here tomorrow at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern home setting, self-sufficiency, and freedom. Bye. Bye. I can't believe you're doing my podcast.